Hey, quick video on how you can uh, extend your display so when you're presenting a Google Slides, um, you can see your keynote speakers and the audience can see your presentation. Let me go ahead and show you how to do this. So this is a MacBook, I'm presenting, um, mirroring a display using a MacBook. If I just go to Google Chrome and I present my uh, presentation here, so if I just click on Slideshow, the thing is it just mirrors my display, it shows exactly the same thing. Uh, and so I want to have my keynote speaker notes here so I can go through my speaker notes while I'm sh you know, presenting this to my audience. So I'm gonna go ahead and escape, come out of this. What I wanna do is, it's got nothing to do with um, Google Slides, it's got to do with your display settings. So on the top, on the little toggle here on the top right hand corner, go to screen mirroring. And now you might see all of your um, Apple TVs pop up here and you can go ahead and select one of your Apple TVs. I'm just gonna to go to display preferences because I've connected this via HDMI. And what I wanna do is this, where it says display settings, I wanna go and click on display settings. And instead of my second monitor, you know, if I'm connected to an Apple TV, you can use that one as your second monitor, uh, you know, your projector, whatever. My MacBook is my main display, but my second monitor, my projector, okay, I wanna use this as not to mirror my MacBook, but to extend my display. So I'm gonna go ahead and say stop mirroring. And now what it's gonna do automatically is gonna extend. You can see here it's changed it to extend display. Now if it doesn't come up, you can go ahead and select this and say extend my display. So what it's doing is you essentially get two working spaces now, yeah? Now this is configured correctly because as I move from right to left, my cursor goes into this display. So that's good. Now depending on where you're orientated, depending on where you're situated in your conference room or in the cafeteria or the theater, the pack, you wanna make sure you've got the orientation correct. So check this out. Now that I've set it as an extended display, I could go ahead and close this out and I can select where I want it. Now this is on the, on the correct side. If it wasn't, I could just pick it up and I could drag it. So in this case, the way I've configured it is if I move my cursor now out of the screen this way, it comes, on the opposite side, which isn't which isn't intuitive. So I'm gonna go back and sort this out and move it to the correct side, okay? So again, where you are in your theater or your pack or your presentation room, make sure you configure it as the extended display on the correct side that you want. Okay, now that we've sorted that out, I can go ahead and close my display preferences, go back to my presentation, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, instead of clicking on um, slideshow, I'm gonna click on the little toggle here, and I'm gonna say, present of view. So I'm gonna do the present of view. That's brilliant, the present of view opens up, but it hasn't solved my problem. Like where is where is my presentation? Well actually the presentation is open under a separate tab, here it is, and there's my present of view notes, that's my speaker notes. So what I wanna do is I wanna take this and I wanna drag it down, I'm gonna enlarge it, or you know press on the maximize button, and then I'm gonna drag this over to this display. Now you can do that in a pinch, and at the same time here now, look, I've got my speaker notes, so I can continue to watch my speaker notes. Look, I've got my speaker notes here. If I press on the next slide of the presentation, I've still got my speaker notes, so that way I can extend my display, have my speaker notes, and have the presentation there as well. If you didn't catch that the first time, watch the video back, but practice it a few times so you understand how to do this. I hope that was helpful, give it a go, and I'll catch you in the next one.